Northern Territory Police are continuing to investigate after a group of young people found a body in a Darwin Creek. Detectives have now identified the deceased person as a 54-year-old man, but don't believe his death to be suspicious. In a quiet suburban area, the grim discovery of a body came as a shock to local residents. It's normally like a really nice area, like very quiet and um, yeah, it's nice houses and decent people. In the northern suburb of Lyons, not far from Royal Darwin Hospital, a crime scene is established at Garamanak Park. Police say a group of young people found the body in a creek at around half past six last night. The deceased is described as being Aboriginal, approximately 176 centimetres tall and was wearing black shorts. Police say the 54-year-old Darwin resident would have been immersed in water for around two days and it was difficult for officers to identify his remains. Police have been here for around three hours trying to retrieve the body in the bushland. It's been a team effort with police, investigators and emergency services. When we're removing the body from that sort of situation, we just want to make sure that we do it very carefully and maintain any evidence that is available to us. For families living in the area, the sight of police swarming their local park has left many shaken. Realising that you just, you do need to be careful, like when you walk on the street, that you just can be at the wrong spot at the wrong time, any time, yeah? So, yeah, it's a bit scary. But police say the community shouldn't be concerned. At the moment we don't believe they're suspicious, however we're still in the early times of our investigation. Residents say the parklands are common for people sleeping rough, although police could not confirm if the 54-year-old was experiencing homelessness. They do a lot of patrols there across the hospital area around here because they people um, do sleep in there and that. Our investigation will continue so that we can identify um, where this person was in the days leading up to his death um, so that we can ascertain how and why he might have died. Detectives are asking anyone with information to come forward. Sawaiba Hanifi, ABC News.